Hello everybody, welcome to the Goodwill. This day, my mom and I went to Goodwill and I really struggled trying to find some stuff. Um, but typically, I will still walk around and show you guys the shelving anyway. <laughs> Even if I can't find anything. Um, this video also is going to include a little bit of Salvation Army. Because there just wasn't much in what I was finding um, to make two separate videos. So I have them put together for you guys. I thought this piece was really cute. Um, at the end, I don't think I ended up getting it because I don't know why. I probably should have. And this here, the other one to it, was on another shelf. And I was a bit perturbed that they were selling them separately. So I didn't go after those either. Um, plus, even though they're cool, um, I've had them before. And they are they were kind of a hard sell for me. So I didn't end up getting those. Now, my mom found the Franciscan Ivy dish that I saw in another video that I did. I didn't even notice it. It had stuff sitting in it, um, but it had a big old crack on the side. So I was like, oh, bummer. That was like the first thing we really found that was pretty cool. Um, I was definitely looking through like the Christmas stuff and taking my time looking through the candles because I find those, um, well, I want to find, keep finding those, um, the Lucite candles. I thought this bird piece was cute too, but it was missing a lid, so I left it. It didn't like didn't say anything amazing on the bottom, so I left it without the lid. Let's see what else I find here. Here I was telling my mom about this gumball jar that I've seen it for a while now. It's a hand painted like ceramic and it has a giant chip on the bottom. Um, otherwise it's pretty cool. I don't think they did too terrible of a job. What did I find here? Oh, I was trying to see what that was. Yeah, it was like, I think I was just walking around with stuff in my hands that day. This I was trying to look like, oh, that's a cute little business card holder. I thought that that was kind of cute, probably from like Hobby Lobby or something. Even their really cool Christmas houses that they had um, were like $14.98 to $25. I was like, are you kidding me? But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, sometimes you can find a deal there, sometimes you can't.
Now this is my last bit of footage that I have for Goodwill and we are going to be off to Salvation Army. This is the Goodwill and the Salvation Army that is in Wesley Chapel, Florida. When we went this day, the, like I was telling you guys about it, the shelves were super empty. Um, for them, anyway. <laughs> Some of you guys, they might seem like pretty thick. But <laughs> um, this day also, they had like a very unruly customer that was like yelling and screaming at the uh, the cashier at the um, people that work there because he refused to wear his mask and they want you to wear your mask inside this store. So I had to turn the camera off quite a few times and I was just like, forget it, forget it. It wasn't meant to be, forget it. <laughs> that piece did not glow. I actually brought my flashlight with me to the store that day and at, when I turned the camera off, I checked it and it didn't glow. And right now I'm just trying to go through the shelves and show you guys what's on them. Um, they have these kind of um, square shelves here, so it's always constantly flipping and turning and whatever, but I do the best I can and show you what I see on the shelf. And I wasn't finding much in the red section. I think I grabbed that to check, the Linux baby ornament, and it wasn't selling for much, um, so I didn't end up getting that. We did get a different one that sold for a little more, and I think I grabbed something else from these shelves. Um, these, this store, if you notice, they try and color, um, code it like, uh, this looks like all red or all Christmas, I guess, but they do try and, um, do the shelving by color. It's like the only store that does that. Um, the other thrift stores and stuff don't. This clock wasn't worth anything. I just know Bianca needed a clock and I'm hesitant because I've gotten her two or three from the thrift store and they've all like, like one of them you plugged it in and all it did was like buzz and vibrate. I mean, it they've all been like, they should have been thrown away, not donated in my opinion. But see how like sparse the shelving is? That's how it was that day. And there was just like nothing there. It was kind of a bummer. But I do walk over to find my mom here next clip like holding a ton of stuff. I'm like, ah, how do you find everything? So a few of these pieces you'll notice um, from the live sales that we did. Um, I did the haul video so you guys could see what was going to be in the live sale, but getting around to the shop with me videos uh, seems to be a bit difficult for me the, these days because I have to do voiceovers every single time because of the stores being so loud and I need a quiet moment. Like right now it's like six in the morning. So but the cats are going crazy, so it's not really that quiet. But anyway, she found some some cool stuff. This guy I thought was really neat, but um, he just didn't sell for very much. Uh, so I ended up, like at first I was getting him, and I thought, okay, he's going to be cool. Uh, I think it was a mix. He, or, oh, wait a minute, was it him? Oh, gosh, I don't remember now. Maybe he did sell, but he was turning on, but he was supposed to move or something his head I don't I don't there was something going on that I just didn't trust it um, is why I didn't get it you guys know how that is <laughs>
No, I didn't miss that pink depression glass. Um, I had looked at it earlier. It wasn't very cheap. It was being sold all together or I would have grabbed maybe the those um, measuring things there. Plus, pink has been a hard sell for me. So, I don't know. Pink and yellow. Um, green is okay. Pink is better than yellow, but still a hard sell. And when they're not cheap enough, I just, or like, a, I like the cool, like, interesting pieces, not just your regular teacup and saucer. I've learned my lesson with those. Um, they just, they're not very good, not for me anyway, not a um, easy sell. So, I stay away from those. Right, guys, this is the last bit of footage I have. Don't forget, Sundays at 1, we have live sales on my channel. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram. You see things over there before you see them here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.